Coming up on Shalom TV, Shalom students have an Anzac liturgy and march on Anzac Day. Find out what a net team is. Meet Fei Hu for Music for One Wish. Find out more about our rugby league launch and why this event is so important. Hello and welcome again to Shalom TV. We have started our second term and are looking forward to sharing some of the exceptional people and events that will be part of the college this term. It is now time to catch up with our principal, Mr. Dan McMahon, in Principal Talk. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Shalom TV. At this stage in the term, even though we're only early in term two, we're really getting ready for the big confraternity carnival that's going to occur in the first week of the next holidays. 64 netball teams and 48 rugby league teams are going to descend upon Bundaberg and we're going to host this annual wonderful carnival. 40 years ago, Shalom hosted the first Quizrel Rugby League Carnival and 20 years ago, Shalom hosted the first Quizen Netball Carnival. So this is a real celebration for us. But with all big events, we're looking for parent support. So we sent out recently in the newsletter a volunteer form. So I'm really hoping that parents, lots of parents will be able to give some time during that week to do barbecues, look after games, help us out. There's so many jobs and we need a lot of support. So in anticipation, thanks so much for trying to give some time to this wonderful event. The other event coming up that I'd like to bring your attention to is the talk on May 27th by Madonna King. The author of Fathers and Daughters, a book about helping girls build unbreakable bonds with their dads. For all of us dads who have daughters, we know what a special relationship that is. And this is a great opportunity for Shalom parents to come together and listen to this acclaimed author talk about the research she's done in this area of parenting. Madonna King is a great author, she's a great journalist, she's an engaging speaker. And I'd really encourage as many parents as possible to come along on that night, 6 p.m. May 27th, in the Shalom Theatre to listen to Madonna King and get some great parenting tips. In our last show, we invited Shalom students to participate in the Anzac Day marches in Bagara and Bundaberg. We started with a college Anzac Day liturgy the day before. Today we enjoy the freedom for us won by the Anzacs. We lay poppies in remembrance for those who have fought and died for us. Our response is, hear our prayer, God of peace. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. sent to the loved ones of Australian, of fallen Australian diggers in World War I alone, with a further 18,000 New Zealanders paying the ultimate sacrifice. We praise you for the community of Bagara, as well as the whole Bundaberg region. Remember, prosperity can only be for the free. That freedom is a sure possession of those alone who have the courage to defend it. Looking around, it's hard to imagine the men and women weren't much older than some of the students standing in front of me. And I know I'll think twice before I complain about slow internet or something silly after hearing the conditions our troops were under. Our Anzacs are brave and heroic and sacrificed more than most of us can imagine so we can be here today. Students Paul McMahon and Emma Mooney representing Shalom College.
Well, you would probably think the net team was something to do with netball, but this team has other special qualities. We went along to meet them and find out more. Well, that stands for National Evangelization Teams. So we're teams of young people who come from all around the world and all around the nation. And we give up uh, 10 months of our life um, to uh, embrace the life of um, being a traveling missionary and to spread uh, the gospel of Jesus uh, wherever we go and to be an example of uh, living for, for Jesus uh, in our modern world. We live together, we work together, um, do pretty much everything together. Um, and we each have like roles in our, um, in our team to make kind of our community work. My father encouraged us boys, me and my two older brothers, to take a year uh, to encounter Jesus and learn more about our faith. Um, so you may not know, but there's multiple nets around the world. There's Net Canada, USA, Ireland, Africa, um, and Australia. And I decided to come to Australia um, and I arrived here several months ago back in January and since then I've really enjoyed it. I think overall uh, the students have been really receptive and it's been really great to get to know all of them. Yeah, I really enjoy just um, chatting with the kids and learning a lot more about Australia because I feel like they're just teaching me so much about this country <laughs> that I just didn't know. <laughs> I just decided that maybe like net might be a good idea to just um, further my faith. A lot of us are just a few years older than them. Um, a lot of us have come out of high school or have graduated pretty recently, so we have those experiences, we've been through those phases in life of adolescence and growing and learning. And we all have these different kind of walks of life, but we also kind of know what it's like to be in their shoes and we're not too far off from being empathetic in, in where they were at just right now or even a few years ago. And I think ultimately we just try and share that with the students and the kids that we interact with um, and sort of share that family and community feel. Um, and I know that's really helped myself personally. Um, and we just try and share that with them so that they can grow in their faith too and, and uh, come to know Jesus in a more personal way. For all the sport, we now cross to Riley Johnson. When it comes to swimming, Year 10 student Jamie Kruger has the world at her fingertips. With the support of her family and Mr Robinson, her dedication to succeed is just amazing. Recently I competed at the National Championships in Adelaide, where I got gold in the 100m butterfly, silver in the 400m freestyle, silver in the 200m butterfly, and a couple of finals. Um, it's my third nationals now, that out of age, but I also do school sport nationals, which is representing my school, which will be later on in the year. I have always swum, but re I've always done butterfly, but recently I got into 400 freestyle and 200 meter butterfly, which are two new events for me. So mum and dad put me in swimming really young because we used to live up north at Mission Beach near Cairns, where we went out on the boat every day and I needed to know how to swim in case of an emergency. And when I was around 10, I did start competing, but I wasn't very good. It was more of a fun sport. And by the time I got to 12, I started meddling at states and nationals, which is where my career started. Yeah, he's been helping me out a lot, you know. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without him. Um, you know, I get a study and I drop one of my electives, which is really good because I have no time whatsoever. I train about over 24 hours a week of swimming and running and gym and then I, Ms Robinson helps me with assessments and all that and I can get extensions if I need them, if I'm away and stuff like that. In lane two for Fairy Mead, Jamie Kruger. This May I did qualify for the Junior World Australian team, which is one of the hardest teams you can make at my age. Unfortunately I didn't get selected as top two in Australia up to the age of 17, get selected and I was third which is a bit of shame, but next year I am aiming to make the team and go to the Junior Olympics, I think it is next year, which would be a really good experience. And then later on in the year in June, I am going to the World Trials for the Open Australian team. On Wednesday, the official launch of the Rugby League season took place with a skill session and the launch itself. We went along to find out more. So basically what's involved with um, this East Academy um, related to the Shalom College program? Yeah, um, it's really um, great news for the uh, for the town um, and the Wide Bay area that East Tigers, uh, who's associated down in Brisbane, the Q Cup with uh, with Melbourne Storm, um, have partnered up with Shalom College uh, to start the academy. We have all the best players 
um, come through the, um, through the through the area and get opportunity. Um, you know, to be coached by, um, you know, obviously myself and uh, Neil being the coordinator and being supported by uh, Terry Madison, who is now the uh, director of uh, rugby league down at East Tigers. And also also having Scott Sipple down as well to launch it launch it this afternoon. So Yeah, we've always had some great history here at Shalom uh, with our players, but it just gives them that extra step to be able to go forward, maybe extra training uh, and also that next step to go to, be able to go to Brisbane. Uh, with the Tigers or also uh, down into uh, the Sydney competition in the NRL as well. So it's good to see that Bundaberg is finally uh, getting that step and, uh, and the players have something to look forward to into extra training and extra support. We're both here from the Wave Sports Club, uh, one of the sponsors of the, of the academy. Speaking from the sports club, I mean rugby league is one of the sports that we've got in our family of clubs and the proposal was put to us and um, there is that tie up within our club, like Ash is president of the, the, the football club and Antonio Cafusi is the coach there and he's involved here and we just thought it was a, a great opportunity to come on board and help out to get this academy established and um, help young, young kids develop in the, the game they love. So are you hoping for, once these kids sort of graduate um, from Shalom, that that's, this creates like a direct link um, to a feeder club down in Brizzy? Yep, straight directly to East Tigers. Um, you know, I keep saying before, I'm very, very fortunate that we have that connection now um, with, with the school. Um, you know, when I was growing up and coming through, there was nothing. I had to, I had to go down to Brisbane and leave home really, really early. So uh, to have have this have this uh, partnership with East Tigers, where you know we're getting all the uh, support from from uh, from them and all their coaching staff and we feed that all through to the kids so um, you know we get them ready here so by the time they get down to Brisbane they're um, they're going to be ready to um, hit their straps. This this will uh, really train these kids and um, and and teach these kids uh, new structures and that too that, that they can bring into the uh, into the local league competition and um, especially the the training techniques that Antonio and uh, and Neil Feather bring um, it really um, it really gets these kids on the on the front foot and uh, and teaches them puts them in good stead for um, for coming years. Do you think having like a program like this will encourage more kids to get part of the Confro um, program at Shalom, knowing that there's um, sort of direct links to Brisbane? Or? Oh, definitely. You look at all the other schools. You look at um, all the nurseries, even down at Marsden College, down in Brisbane. There with the Broncos. Um, what, what school up in, in the, up at the Gold Coast? Where Benji Marshall and them all come through. There, they're all they're all the rugby league schools. I, I like to think that. What we're creating here in Bundaberg now, Bundaberg's the centre of the Wide Bay. Uh, we can draw all those kids in and hopefully we can have our own little nursery here at Shalom College. Since the launch of Shalom TV, we've had great feedback for presenting positive stories. Thank you. So it is now time to ask students at Shalom to get involved in the production of Shalom TV. We're looking for budding writers, directors, camera operators, sound operators or presenters to bring their creative flair to the program. So if you're interested, email Mr Page at avtp at shalomcollege.com for more information. Please tell us your year and a short sentence about your creative side. It's time for our music segment. Music for One Wish with Year 7 student Fei Hu on the violin, accompanied by Rebecca Helbig. Do you enjoy being a part of the, um, the music program at Shalom? Yeah. That's great. So what do you, what do you enjoy most about it? Um, just getting to know people and playing music. Yeah, playing music is a good thing. I definitely agree with you there. I've done quite a bit of it in my time as well.
Well done, Faye. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed your performance. Thank so, you. Thank you very much for playing for us. Um, did you enjoy playing? Yeah. yeah. So you like playing the violin? How long have you been playing for? Um, since I was in grade three. So how often do you practice? Um, on weekdays, I practice up to half an hour and on weekends, I play 40 minutes. Ah, yes, and I can certainly see the results of all of that practice in, in the way you play. Well, that's the end of the show. See you next time on Shalom TV. Bye. Goodbye. You we said agree. It was... We just agreed you on said goodbye. It was bye. No, I just said, okay, we'll do goodbye. Oh, okay, right. <laughs>